in the struggle that women have had in order to conquer equality and freedom, several issues, very important issues, have to be considered. The access to good jobs and to credit, to training, that would allow them to improve their quality of their life and to fulfill their potential as human beings. Ciudad Juárez ha crecido en los últimos 40 años de una forma bastante desordenada. Uh -huh. Se han creado una enorme cantidad de colonias populares a raíz de asentamientos irregulares. Una buena parte de esa gente que llega a Ciudad Juárez llega en condiciones marginales, eh, provenientes de otros estados del país, atraídos por el empleo en la industria maquiladora. Eh, de esta forma se ha creado una concentración urbana de alrededor de 500.000 habitantes en condiciones marginales al día de hoy que eh, padecen y enfrentan rezagos económicos y urbanos. La mayor parte de esas personas son mujeres. En 1973, FEMAP started their health program, giving information and services in the poor barrios to the disadvantaged women. In 1988, we started a poverty alleviation program and it was very successful. El sistema es sencillo, el microcrédito está demostrado que está siendo útil para combatir la pobreza a nivel mundial en muchos países. Y el sistema es sencillo, se reúne un grupo de personas, en nuestro caso es de 10 personas o más, hay casos donde son de 5 personas o más, se avalan entre ellas, es un crédito básicamente a la palabra, y se comprometen a reintegrar el, el recurso que están utilizando en periodos cortos de tiempo. Se les entrega el crédito en una primera prueba a tres meses. I remember the first loan that we gave to one of the promotoras. She started with a loan, a small loan, to make candies of leche quemada con nuez and chocolates. Mm -hmm. And she was so successful that pretty soon she had a very small factory of candies and she was delivering candies to small stores and to small supermarkets. I called her and said, Marta, will you please tell me in what moment in your life did you find out that you could be such a fantastic businesswoman? And she says, well, Mrs. De La Vega, we were in a colonia and the social worker came and she was giving us a conference and she was saying, women, wake up, you are not an object to be thrown in a corner. No, you are fantastic human beings with a bright brain to create ideas and a big heart to love. That was our first, first experience and we start thinking that we can make a difference if we really, really try. We have put much more emphasis in quality in training than in numbers. We have had the students from the Tecnológico de Monterrey. They go to train our people and some teachers also. Mm -hmm. We have training in, uh, in uh, marketing. We are working with the Secretaría de Economía of the federal government in Mexico. They are very eager to have more programs of this kind. President Calderón sent a beautiful letter to our micro-entrepreneurs with her, his photograph and his, his signature telling them that he's very proud of their work and that's very important for, for women to have the president recognizing their, their efforts. People can change their quality of life and it always only takes from us to create a very efficient infrastructure where they can work and help themselves.